Okay, so he's one of the biggest and most talented actors of his generation, and he's worked with some of the most incredible directors alive. That's right, today we're talking about the rise of Timothy Chalamet. Timothy Howell Chalamet was born on December 27th, 1995. He was born in Manhattan to his parents, Nicole Fisher, who was a real estate agent and also a dancer, and Mark Chalamet, who is a UNICEF editor. He started acting at the very young age of 13, starring in a couple of Hallmark movies, as well as independent films, and one episode of Law & Order. He went to the LaGuardia High School, which is in New York, which is one of the most prestigious performing arts and music colleges in the country. And while studying there, he developed his rap alter ego, Little Timmy Tim. And looking back on this alter ego, Timothy Chalamet seems to be a little bit embarrassed by it, but he seems to be keeping reinventing the character for skits on SNL. And this has actually helped Helped him land one of his more recent roles in Hollywood, but more on that later. In 2012, he displayed his pure acting ability whilst landing two reoccurring roles on two completely different characters. His character Luke, who was an eager, energetic teenager in Royal Pains, and he also played Finn, who was a reckless, rebellious teenager and the teenage son of the vice president in Homeland. He then went on to portray smaller roles on bigger films and larger roles on more independent films, such as playing Matthew McConaughey's son in Interstellar in 2014. And then in 2017, his career skyrocketed when he appeared in two Academy-nominated films, Lady Bird and Call Me By Your Name. And his performance in the latter actually landed him with a nomination of his own for Best Actor. Then in 2018, he went on to star as Steve Carell's drug-addicted son in Beautiful Boy. And then he went on to become the charming boy-next-door sort of character, Laurie, in the Pretty Woman film in 2019. And then moving on to 2021, where he starred in Wes Anderson's The French Dispatches. And then also in 2021, he starred in Dune Part 1, of which he began his really, really fun relationship with Zendaya. And then we're going to fast forward a little bit to 2023, where he starred in a commercial for Perfume, which happened to be directed by Martin Scorsese. And they sort of did this whilst the strike was happening. And then he went on to star in Wonka as the title character, Willy Wonka, becoming the third actor to play this character. So that's his whole career. And what did you guys think? Which performance was your favourite? Because personally... I'm intrigued about Wonka. 